So especially when the bugs are bad at this time of year, being right in the uh, deep bush like this is not the most pleasurable, not the most enjoyable. So we have black flies just finishing up, We've got mosquitoes uh, just starting, so they full hatch right now. And we have horse flies and deer flies starting. So not to scare you off of the outdoors, it's just that you have to be more prepared. You gotta alter maybe what your plans are, what, you, what your activities are at this time of year. This is, like I said, not the time to be in the deep bush, even building that forest kitchen. We're working on the cabin. I'm not gonna let that deter me. This is the time of year I like to get out on the water. Uh, Callie likes to get out. She's always swimming. I like to take her swimming. My wife and I have been taking her pretty well every day down to the water to go for a swim in the lake and to do some fetching, which is her favorite thing to do, Callie's. Not my wife's. My wife is not much of a canoeist, not crazy about a canoe, although she enjoys the, the serenity of paddling around, but she loves kayaking. So uh, since we got Callie, we haven't been able to jointly kayak like me and one and her and another. So what we do is she takes the kayak out. I take the canoe with Callie, which is a little slower than my wife with her kayak. So we just accommodate and take our time and just enjoy it out on the water. But getting out on the water gets us away from the bugs. We get a nice breeze, enjoy the sunshine, just do something a little bit different. That's what I love about living in this area. The seasons can be harsh, but they're varied. And that's what I like. I like that variety. So, you know, one uh, season we're snowshoeing and and uh, protecting ourselves from the deep cold, the uh, minus 30 degree temperatures. Then in summer we're plus 30 degrees Celsius and we're enjoying time on the water. And then the spring and fall are those awesome shoulder seasons where there's no bugs, weather temperature is perfect. It's just a beautiful time to be out in the woods. Spring is kind of winding down right now. It's mid June. Summer's really getting kicked into high gear here, so we have hot, hot and dry summers typically, although we have a lot of humidity in the air because there's because there's so many lakes in the area that we get a lot of humidity, so that adds to the heat. I'm going to spend the week this week with my wife, with Callie, and a fishing trip with my buddies, which I haven't done since this time last year. And if you haven't seen any of those videos that I did uh, on Woodland Caribou Provincial Park on a fishing trip last June, then uh, check these out. Here's some clips from that trip last year that I just never got around to publishing. Another long, hard day today, and finally Joe made a nice fire here. So we're just drying our feet out by the fire, drying our clothes out, and just beat 6.30 p.m. We left, we left 8.30, I think. Yeah, we left the campsite at 8.30 this morning, but immediately into a headwind. So that took a lot out of us, and then some portages, like, oh, brutal. We heard uh, the portages weren't that difficult up here. And I think uh, as far as length, that's maybe true. So the longest one we did today was 575 meters. But straight up hill over a, a, a burn, a forest fire from 2011. So a lot of those trees have, since they cleared the, tra the trail last, fallen over the trail. So we literally were pushing and pulling canoes together over top and just scrambling through with heavy weight on our back so it took really took it or took its toll apparently this entire lake area burned in 2011 very extensive so this uh, portage is up and over right through the middle of the burn but it's very thick now it's growing up like crazy beautiful though very unique So uh, we decided to call it quits on this lake. We're once again short of our shortened plan. We shortened our plan, and then we didn't quite make our plan, make our goal, but that's fine. That's what we're here for. Ended up, I would say, it was probably the least enjoyable day mm -hmm. because it was, yeah, it was too, too much work for, um, like, and yeah, we didn't get anything out of it. We caught a fish each. I caught three little pike. Joe caught one little pike. It was just a horrible day for fishing. And I think what added to the doom and gloom was the weather conditions. Not, on top of that wind, we have this this mist, this really low ceiling. It's been raining on us all day. Both of us at times were hypothermic. And, you know, then you warm up, you get to camp, and then the spirits lift, and you say, the hell with it. It was a great day anyway. And we look forward to tomorrow and the next few days. So 
here we are. I'm going to cook up. I'm going to cook up uh, just dehydrated spaghetti. I think I'm not going to bother with the fish for dinner at least. I think I'll probably fish after dinner, but give it a give it a go. is coming in now. Four minutes behind and then we're gonna take off together. Awesome trip. Awesome, awesome trip. It was uh, surreal. So thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, following along with this adventure.